guys, I don't know exactly what's happened, but I sort of blacked out and started just rearranging literally everything. I think I'm going to put this actually over there, and then I'm going to take this carpet, drag it on here. We're going to take these black shelves and kind of put them on the sides with this extra coat rack that Hannah gave me in the middle. So even though I've kept everything pretty organized in here, I've showed it in a lot of vlogs with my shoes and stuff. I just feel like I didn't really come in here, and I don't like having spaces that I'm not using. I feel like it's a waste, especially because I feel like I am so privileged to have all this extra space. So the fact that I'm not utilizing it again even though it is being used for my shoes and stuff and it did look semi nice I just don't like that I wasn't actually actively coming in here and using it for things and like actually hanging out which is why I kind of want to put the leopard couch because I feel like I'll use it more um so yeah let's get back to it guys I borrowed James's mom's pet bissel and look at all that dirty water. I have just been scrubbing our leopard little couch for so long, like an hour, because we let someone borrow it and it got really turfed. So I was like, you know what? Let me clean it and now I'm disgusted. I think I'm gonna go through it one more time in the spots where like, you know, people really sit. I'm accidentally going on a deep dive and started doing my carpets. You're joking. You're actually joking me right now look at how dirty i started doing this and it's full game over like look at that corner how bright it's getting compared to how dirty well you can't really tell on camera but i was just like wow let me clean this one because it's got a lot of traction and then i saw the dirt being sucked up i actually can't stop doing this now i think i'm gonna do like all my carpets now i always find it so crazy when i move things around and i'm like why didn't i do this before i had all of this stuff previously um aside from the coat rack but this has been in my parents garage again hannah had gotten rid of it and it was just sitting in my parents garage so i was like why not take out all the coats these are the coats that were in my closet i was talking about it in my last vlog and then my bigger coats like thicker ones are the ones that are in the backdrop of my ootds but then again i had these black shells my mom has been trying to pawn off me for years i'm gonna set those clothes up i'm also gonna take this white rug and put it in this corner of course everything is a big mess right here but even with the hats hanging here and then the leopard couch right here it's like why did i literally not do this before this looks so much better i think i'm gonna put the white rug either right there or in this area it just is insane to me like this is so much better. I actually want to hang out in here now. And that's exactly what I meant by saying like utilizing this space. Like even if you have a garage or even a tiny closet that you don't use, like utilize that space because I literally want to sit here and edit now. Like I feel like this is going to be my new editing corner. I took this pink blanket because I think it's just such a shame. Okay, I've had this area and I haven't been using it. Like I've just been treating it like a freaking dump and um just saying if you have that little even if it's a corner in your room even if it's like a little cute bathroom corner or a dresser where you've just been piling shit just make it into a cute little corner where maybe you'll be excited to do skincare or anything like that i don't know i just feel like this is really amping up my brain it does something to me when i re i think this just makes sense why when i was little I would clean my desk out like three times every single day in elementary school and then I would rearrange my room literally like every month. So um, I don't know what that says about me, but it kind of makes sense that I'm constantly loving to organize. And for the grand reveal, here we have my entire shoe closet. Guys, I am obsessed. Again, how did I not do this earlier? I took the leopard thing that you guys would have seen me thrift a couple months ago and I actually put it in here because I just think, I don't know, it gives it very... Um, like I have my own closet, you know how people usually have something right there and then it's a jewelry I just put that there because every time I put my shoes on I obviously need to sit somewhere We have a little Victoria Beckham. I tried to throw a lot of books Everywhere here just to kind of spice it up like you can see right here I put two hot pink ones the Barbie and sex in the city right there. We have a Marilyn one we have a little Corella. I just really wanted it to look like a boutique. And I also did stuff wrapping paper in the shoes just so everything can kind of stick up straight. We have all of those shoes at the bottom. 99% of these shoes, guys, are either from the thrift store or from Pretty Little Thing. And then some of them are from Macy's as well. But again, I think it's like 90% thrift. The other 10% is <laughs> Pretty Little Thing or Macy's. And then right here, I have all of my white shoes. Again, I tried to keep it like 
a cute little boutique. We have my pink shoes up there. We have Betty. Again, I really tried to decorate with a lot of books. I put my Paris book in here, and then when you kind of turn and we do a little switcheroo, you can see we have the juicy boxes, just a little selfie moment. We have all of my cowboy hats. I really wanted this to look like a chaotic mess. I didn't want this to be very aesthetic or anything like that. I just want it to look like my personalities where I can get really inspired and dress up like a little doll. And I don't know, I feel like I would not be inspired if this was just all white. I like the all the different types of personalities. Again, we have the Victoria Beckham book, just everything. We have the Marilyn book, all of my shoes right here. I tried to kind of color coordinate it. As you can see, I have all my brown boots and then it goes into green, some pink leftover sandals. Wolfie is just really playing with the carpet. And then this is probably my favorite part. I have been sitting here the past three mornings and reading and drinking coffee and it is literally the best. This memoir is so good. I'm telling you, you guys all need to go and buy it. It literally is like the movie 13. If you guys have ever watched it, but in book form, she is such a good writer. I'm literally in love. We have the share that I also thrifted. And then if I kind of flip it over, you can see this is the front side. It's her 2003 tour. I found this at the thrift store. This is definitely one of the cooler finds. Um, I almost sold it one time. I think I had it up on my Depop for a second. And then I was like, wait, what am I doing? I have, of course, the Britney book that I am reading next. We have the Bratz phone. I just found this cherub the other day at the thrift store. I put him right there. We have another little mirror here. I put the cat's food there just because I feel like this is the cat's area, like this part of the room. We have a little bit more of my boots down here. It's just really vibing in the corner. Like I am obsessed with this corner of the room. And again, it wraps all the way around into the armoire, not the armoire. I don't know what I'm talking about. That is literally a dresser, Um, yeah. That's it. And then of course we have all of the shoes in this corner as well, but that's kind of like the ugly corner. Guys, I just found this massive rug at the thrift store for literally $27. I might put it in my bedroom and switch out the green one that you guys would have seen actually in my last vlog. I just finished cleaning it with this little, um, I don't know, pet revolution thing. I, did I already show this? I can't remember, but I just finished, you know, steaming it, cleaning it, so I'm waiting for that to dry. And in the meantime, oh my gosh, we're running. I literally feel like I'm trekking up and down. This is the, well, actually there's underwear on the floor. <laughs> this green rug. So this is the rug that I'm talking about that um, I'm trying to decide, do I wanna put this one in my closet or, not closet, sorry, living room, or put the red one in here. I just filmed that thrift haul, so that's why there is stuff. And also, I'm gonna show you guys this later. This is all of my thrifted stuff, but I kinda wanna put it in here, like the red one, but I can't decide. I feel like the green might actually look better. I'm not sure. And then I'm gonna take this leopard one and put it actually in, um, maybe, actually, I have a place for that. Um, but as you can see, it's like tiny, it's just not working out. And you can see we have the green here. So I just really can't decide what's gonna look best, the green or the red. I don't know, what do you guys think? The coffee table was really making me mad. So I completely took that out and actually ended up taking the leopard ottoman thing and setting it there. And honestly, I don't hate it. The lighting is not gonna make it look completely good. Um, I just, you guys know how the houses it never picks up the true tones definitely more cozier than this i feel like this was just throwing it off if i am gonna get a table or something i need an end table i mean not an end table like something white right here but i don't mind the leopard and then of course you can never really see but the lamp does have like the crystals so it does tie in really nicely in person i need to figure out what to do more with the wall and then of course right here as you guys know that literally is not staying there that's just temporary. I just don't know what to put there. But yeah, I actually love it so much more. And I'm gonna put this Kurt Cobain poster back. If you guys remember, it's what used to sit actually in this frame. And don't get me wrong, I love this photo. I love this photo, but it does not look good. Well, it's actually not a photo, it's a painting. I love the painting, but it does not look good in this space now with the rug and the leopard. And I feel like this is really just gonna tie it with everything. So we're gonna put this back. And then of course that sits in front of this. So if anything, if I wanna change it back, I could just take this poster down again. But I just feel like 
it's gonna fit the theme, the vibe, these are the ones that were sitting underneath the coffee table. And I actually ended up putting the coffee table in place of where this was. And I didn't realize, but I could actually take the wooden part off. I mean, I'll show you guys. Let me just first um, fix that. There's a glare. This looks a hundred times better. And I put the leopard pillow here that was on my other leopard couch in that beauty room. And then I put the Marilyn photo right here. And I don't know why this just flows. Again, the tones, the coloring, you're not getting it accurately. So it doesn't look as cozy, but I love this little section and then when you turn we have this area which i still don't know quite what to do with it but honestly i'm not too bothered about it because this is where our christmas tree is gonna go so i mean we're about to set up for christmas so i'm not too worried about it right now i still have time but i do want to see if i could find a photo off amazon i do want it to be black and white and then set it right there and then also i set Again, the Playboys down that were underneath that other table. And yeah. Guys, we have dyed our hair block. And I didn't film the process. Well, I did, but I filmed like a shorts version of it. And it doesn't fit on the YouTube. So I'm going to role play that just if you guys are curious. Because obviously I did it myself of what like colors I used and things like that. So I'm gonna play that and then we're gonna come back. We're finally saying goodbye to the blonde hair and dyeing our hair black. We have arrived to get all the goods. Since we're doing black, I need to put red pigment in my hair first. Literally last time I dyed my hair black, I straight up just put black over it and then it turned green. I feel like this could work. Maybe something like this. So I'm gonna do this one right here with 10. And this is my favorite brand. So this is what we're working with, all my roots. And I just realized I didn't buy enough semi-permanent. So we're gonna actually wet the hair before we put it on. And this is one part of whatever the cream is and two part 10 developer, by the way. He's now looking like a wet dog. I'm also not home, clearly. I did try to watch a couple of videos of dyeing my hair, not dyeing my hair, of doing hair. The only time I ever dyed my hair back to black from the nine years I was blonde, I regretted it and immediately dyed it back trying to go blonde. And when I did that, I didn't use like a color thing like how I'm doing right here. I'm honestly just gonna put it all over my hair because as you can see, my roots are all messed up, um, all of that. So I don't even care. But yeah, my hair turned like semi green last time I did this without a color corrector. And if you are trying to go black from like the maps that I was seeing from like this bright of a blonde, you need to have a red. There's like actually, <laughs> No going back now. Like, the blonde is gone at this point. Why am I low-key <laughs> kind of vibing with this red hair? Also, I say I was bleach blonde for like nine years, but technically like the majority of the time, I had blue hair, hot pink hair, light blue, yellow hair. Like, I've had every color under the rainbow. It hasn't been with, except like the past two years where I've consistently pretty much stayed bleach blonde. Um, so why am I kind of not hating this color? And now we wait 20 minutes. Side note, why does this low key look like mayonnaise mixed with ketchup? I think the best part is when my hair is wet now, it doesn't look like a hot mess. I don't want guys washed out, you know what I mean? And this is again, the black that we're gonna use. This one looked like it had a little bit more of a warmer tone to it, which is what I wanted. I didn't want like that blue tint, which the other one had, because I was afraid if I was gonna put it on the red, it was gonna look a little bit more purple, which I didn't want. <laughs> Guys, she's fully gone. Here's another up close. You can really see, I don't know, the roots. Is this what hairdressers do? I think my favorite part though is definitely, it makes my eyes look a little bit more, okay. A little bit more lighter like they don't look as dark brown as when I had my hair blonde we officially have dark hair and honestly um we're never gonna be going blonde again I don't know why it's taken me this long to have dark hair I mean you can't see it fully right now because obviously um I have a half up half down however I truly again 
I know if you guys have been following me for a while have dyed my hair I mean, I kind of said it in that short. I mean if you guys remember that video I had dyed it a little bit This was like years and years ago and then me dyeing my hair from back black back to blonde That was like my first viral video. I think my only ever true viral video that I have on my YouTube and I don't know why I did that. I kind of talked about it. If you guys don't follow me on TikTok or Instagram, I do a lot of like get ready with me, just like where we talk. But I, for the longest time, anytime I did anything drastic to my hair, because going bleach blonde to black is pretty drastic. Usually people will like wheeze their way in. I was just like full guns blazing. So usually when people do that, it's because they have a meltdown or they just want like some, they just have a lot of things going on and they want change in their life. At least that's how it's always been with me. Whether I've cut my hair, Again, when I just impulsively dyed my hair black back in 2017 and then we had another meltdown so I was like no I want to be blonde again and I want to have colored hair again like anytime I was going to do anything I did shit to my hair because you know it's just it brings some type of change this was the first time where there is truly nothing going on like there is nothing going on I have been sitting for it all for a while I mean you guys saw my roots my roots were so grown out because I was contemplating like okay if I'm gonna go black I like there's no going back it's good, probably gonna be until I'm 30 by the time if I want to reach the blonde that I was healthily so I said you know what let me sit on it it had been like three weeks because what stemmed it is for Hall Halloween, I had worn a black wig for one of my looks and I literally didn't want to take the wig off and I was like, okay, what is happening here? So I literally have been stemming on this for about three weeks and finally I bit the plug like I was like I don't care I need to do it literally everybody in my life not that they influenced me But everybody was like, no, I like you best with dark hair. I mean because that's that's how they've known me since I was literally like freaking born like even all my best friends we've been friends since we were like 11 they're like I don't know, maybe they're just used to me having dark hair and I've had not dark hair for nine years and I really said, you know what, I'm going to again sit on this and best decision I ever made. So if you are thinking about going back to your natural hair color, like whether you're blonde and you dyed your hair black but you want to be blonde again or like vice versa, I can see why there's like, uh, there's a lot of things. I, I, I don't think there's any charts, but I've heard so many people talk about it where certain hair colors, certain eyebrow shapes, certain makeup, like looks better on people because of their features. So get to know your features and see what looks best. And nine times out of 10, it's typically what you're born with. I mean, technically I have brown hair, like very, very dark brown, but I love a drastic thing. So I love just black like I don't like I feel like brown hair on me looks kind of mousy so that's why I just like the jet black and yeah that is pretty much it um I'm out of breath right now because uh, I just keep rambling um but I'm not gonna lie it's the best decision I ever made I do not see myself going back ever if we're being honest I mean who knows but if we're being honest no if I want to be blonde I might do like a fun wig or something but I think we're gonna be I think we're gonna be dark guys I think we're gonna be dark so yeah that is pretty much it um I'm gonna change now and we're gonna go to the gym and uh see what I don't even know what this vlog is if we're being honest I have no idea I did go thrifting but I didn't film it like it's only on my tiktok also don't mind literally the hair dye on my arm I can't get it off but I found this juicy clutch for literally eight freaking dollars I am obsessed with it I do think it's fake but honestly, I don't care. I think it is literally so adorable. And then also this old like vintage Avon perfume I thought would look so adorable in my little bathroom. And get ready because we're going to be decorating for Christmas pretty soon. I found this very cute ornament with also another little cherub because of course I could always use cherubs. Don't mind that. I think, did I show you guys these? I actually don't know. This is a Betty Boop necklace that I thought was very cute. It actually lights up so I need to put batteries in it and then I found this necklace that's kind of witchy vibes I did this is actually the necklace that I wore when I had my black hair wig I was a like gothic witch 
um, what stemmed me from wanting to dye my hair black. Also, this very cute necklace thing, even though it's not summer anymore, it's fine. Also, please don't mind this. This is all the stuff from the yard sale, and I ran out of hangers, so I need to actually go and buy more hangers, even though I completely reorganized my closet and stuff and took the jackets out. Um, we need more hangers, and I only like the black hangers because they save space and stuff, but regardless, I wanted to show you guys some other things that I found at the thrift this betsy johnson metallic bag is so freaking cute because it has the little hearts as the quilt i really loved the colors of this bag and now that my hair is black i feel like it's just gonna look so much more cuter and then i don't have any like full-blown purple bags and this one right here is literally adorable i think this is kenneth cole just it's giving such 90s vibes i'm literally obsessed with it i found some victoria's secret pjs it's kind of of this leopard print and then I don't know where the top is because I did wear it it has the initial V we have this leopard metallic coat again I'm sorry that I'm showing it to you guys so messy but I figured why not just do it real quick before I leave this jacket you guys would have seen me style for girls night on a short it's just this you know matching collar sleeve let's see what else is here I think that's just like yard sale stuff if you want to see the full of everything that I got again it's up on my TikTok or or honestly my Instagram because I know not everybody has TikTok where I could you could see more of the clothes honestly it's just you can see it's a mess so I don't remember exactly everything that I got but oh actually I did go yesterday holy shit hold on I literally went yesterday and I found these little things that I have been looking for for so long I literally found true religions in my size for $13 the size 27 but the good part is because I know you can find them at like TJ Maxx and stuff I've seen them before um these are flared anytime I've seen them at like TJ Maxx or anything like that they're freaking skinny and I hate skinny jeans so the fact that these are flared like you're kidding my size and everything I've always wanted a pair of trues so I'm so excited about this and at the same time I also found this Ed Hardy long it's pretty long I feel like I could wear it as a dress which I think is very cute this long sleeve right here that is also definitely gonna fit like a dress like all of these studs and then just a basic zebra thermal with a hot pink stitching and then also a white feather boa why did i get that i don't know but yeah i just popped in really quick and i saw these i'm about to leave so i figured i would just show you quickly how the hair looks like when it's actually down again it was in like like half up half down but that is how it looks like i'm literally freaking obsessed with it i can't talk about it enough like it's just absolutely unreal i tried to like scissor it a little bit to kind of give me layers but again I like faked it I just it's just gonna look so good when it has a blowout and all of that but okay now for real I, I will see you when I don't know what we're gonna do